is Carissa from Happily Ever Paper Crafter and I'm here today to show you a mini album that I created using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. Here's a quick look at my mini album. It's six and a quarter by six and a quarter square. Um, I created it using envelopes and the envelopes have helped to create a packet between my pages. And it's a four page mini album with a front and back cover. And I'm just going to quick show you how I created this. Um, you're going to create four envelopes and you're going to make them for a card that would be six inches by six inches. So the instructions tell us to cut a piece of cardstock to nine and a half by nine and a half. And I've gone ahead and done that. And it tells you to score or to measure at four and three quarters. So I go ahead and measure up here at four and three quarters. I'm going to punch and score and do that around. Um, the white paper that I've chosen to use for my envelopes is a really lightweight cardstock. And the reason that you want to use a lightweight paper is because there's going to be a lot of folding and these flaps will overlap on each other and it can create a kind of big bulky um, mini album if you don't choose a lighter cardstock. So I am scored all those sides and you're just going to want to go ahead and fold to get your envelope ready. I always do like a pre fold with my fingers just to make sure that I don't fold incorrectly and then I go um, ahead and score after I know that my creases are going to be good. So now that I've done that what I'm going to do is make sure that my pages, my flaps fold up, down, left, right and I'll show you why because I am going to grab these other three envelopes that are all folded the same way. These are all six and a quarter envelopes that I cut the same way and uh, scored the same way as I just showed you. And this is what we're going to use to create our mini album. So you're going to take two of the envelopes and you're going to put them next to each other and open the inside flaps and you're going to just insert them into each other like this. And this is going to create your inner page pages of your mini album. Go ahead and close that. And when you do, you'll see you have this extra flap and I'm just going to tell you to fold it back on itself and give that a crease. Now you'll notice this is how the an album will open and then on the opposite side by the binding edge there is a pocket that's created. So what you're going to do is you're going to take an envelope and you're going to open the right flap and go ahead and insert that in and now you've created your front cover and you're going to turn it over on its back and that pocket is still there in the binding. You're going to open the left side of your last envelope and go ahead and ins whoop, insert that right inside there and now you have your back cover. So I recommend at this time to just kind of straighten everything out, make sure that all your things are good and straight and organized and you have your mini album in essence. Now this won't stay together long so we're going to have to use some adhesive. So go ahead and lay your album, open it up and you'll see you have this flap that we had originally folded in on side our, it, um, itself. You're going to actually take this album, or I'm sorry, this flap, run some adhesive along the edge and fold it to the inside. Now all of my pages I want to have a pocket, so you're always going to want to fold the outside flap in and go ahead and adhere that down. Then I'm going to fold the bottom flap up, put a little adhesive on the top flap, and fold that down. And now you've, in essence, created a pocket here. All the pages that I used for my album, I put a piece of 6x6 six six paper over it and I put paper over the front and the back of all of my pages. And so that um, 
is just a way so it's not really a white album anymore. It's now whatever paper you would like it to be. So this is the inside and this is the tricky piece. You're going to want to go ahead and open this up and you'll find three flaps have gotten themselves in here. And you're going to want to adhere all these three flaps down to the same side. I'm going to head up on to this one and fold it down. And this is why when I had said before, and see now my album's apart, but we're going to even her up. Um, when I had said you're going to want a lightweight card stack, it's for this reason. Because you're going to have a lot of folding on top of each other. And last clap. And this is what's going to give it its binding. And then like I said, you're going to always want to take the outside flap, put some adhesive on that, go ahead and fold that down, bottom, up, adhesive on the top, and now you've created another pocket. On this side, you're just going to want to take this side and adhere it down, bottom up, tap down with a little adhesive and you've gotten another pocket. And then for your last page, make sure you tuck that outside flap and adhere it down, bottom up, tap a little adhesive and fold that down. Now, you have your mini album with all the pages in order, lined up, folded and set to go. Now the binding edge still has that pocket that you have. I and mean, I kind of think this binding edge is a little bit boring. So what I'm going to do and what I did for my album is create this kind of edge that kind of looks like a book. So what you're going to want to do is take a piece of cardstock, any color, and you're going to cut it to two and a half by six and a quarter. And you're going to score, I don't know if you can see these score lines, you're going to score at three quarters of an inch, an inch, one and a half, and one and three quarters inch. And you're going to go ahead and fold these all down real rough, just a, a rough crease on here. Okay. And what you're going to want to do is fold the outer edges in. And they will kind of give the binding this kind of like a ledge look. And when you're all set, you're just going to squish those together. And crease them up. And this is what's going to give your album that book binding edge. I'm going to run a bit of adhesive on the long parts here. Ooh. And bring over your album. This is my page side. So this is my binding side. And I'm just going to lay my um, piece of cardstock so it's even. Adhere that down, turn it around, and adhere it down. And I always re I would recommend doing this first, and then you can lay your pages um, or your paper over the top and create your front page. And it just gives it that little bit extra to kind of look like a book. So when I had talked about pockets, I had said you can just um, adhere a piece of paper down to this and create your pocket. When I did that, I put a piece of here, here, and here, and I put a little adhesive here. So when I put my piece of paper down, I still have this pocket. And I'll show you how I did that. My uh, album is called Once Upon a Time. I used the We Are Memory Keepers Storytime paper line and also the um, embellishment stickers. And I used some enamel dots throughout as well. So when you open this up, and this is um, it's once upon a time, this, the once upon a time, the story of Abram Peter, and that's my son's name. Um, these pockets that you've created, you can really tuck a lot of stuff in here. You can tuck a letter that you've written, 
these pockets are big enough to tuck an A2 size card in. So if you wanted to save a birthday card or something in there, there's a lot of storage in these big pockets, which is kind of neat. So I've just created an album. It's a Once Upon a Time, the story of my son. So just some baby pictures of him when he was little. Some journaling about when he was one and then became a big brother at two. And there he is in his school time, story time. And that's, that's him at six. That's how old he is now. So there's my mini album. Just a real fun, easy, quick mini album that I used the envelope punch board to help create. Now, I used three different techniques throughout my album with the envelope punch board. I used it to create this reverse scallop edge, and I'm going to show you how I did that real quick. Just take a piece of paper, and what I did was I punched the paper just along the edge at one inch, at one and a half inches, two inches, two and a half, I, and so on and so forth. I would punch it every half inch. Until you get to the edge. And it creates this really neat reverse scallop edge. And so I did a little bit of that detailing in my album. Also, I loved this uh, little tag. This is an um, embellishment that, that comes with the paper line. And I just wanted to mirror that kind of reverse round edge punch on my photo mat. And so how I did that using the envelope punch board is to stick my corner directly up in there. So you're going to want to line it up between the score line and this paper line. And just to make sure that you're exactly even, you're going to want to make sure that the width between the score line and the edge of your paper matches the width between the um, indicator bar here and the edge of the paper. So that looks about good. I'm going to kind of roll it around make sure you're right in the middle. Okay. The width here and the width there looks about the same. And there you go. And then you've created this kind of detail edge for a photo mat. Another bit of detailing I did in, in my album was this photo mat. And I'll show you how to create two different versions of that. You can take a piece of paper and you're going to um, put it in here and there's where you can see where the punch happens. There's this like little bit of an edge here and I'm going to use that as my uh, measurement marker. So I'm going to just put my paper up to there and punch. Flip it. Put it up there to punch. Turn my paper around. And you can create a, just an interesting uh, photo mat. That technique. Or instead of having your paper the long way, you can have it the tall way. And the same, just put your paper up to that indicator mark. And now you've created a photo mat like this. Slightly different. So those are just some ways that I put some more detailing throughout my album actually using the uh, envelope punch. And then for all of my uh, pictures, I rounded the edges. And the best way to do that is to just, they've already put a rounder right in here. So easy. So just a great tool, lots of features, lots of ways to make creative different projects. And I hope you enjoyed my mini album using the envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. Thanks everybody and have a great day.